money management has been the cause of more business failures than any other single issue. And it's no wonder. We aren't born knowing how to manage money, and most people aren't taught how to handle it either. Over the years, everyone develops their own money stories, whether you realize it or not. You may currently have a scarcity money mindset and believe that there's just never enough to go around. Or you may believe that having a lot of money makes you a bad person. There are a ton of different money stories that could have developed through your life experience, but those same mindset issues that can wreak havoc on your personal finances can also plague your business if you're not careful. So in this video, I am going to be discussing three money mistakes that entrepreneurs make that keep them and their business broke. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. I am Maureen. I help busy bloggers and content creators of all types work smarter and not harder by providing the tips, the templates, and the trainings that they need to build their online business and make their first 1K, 5K, 10K plus online. If this sounds like you, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell right next to it so you don't miss any of the videos I post on this channel each and every week. All right, let's talk about money. How you feel about money can truly make all the difference when it comes to the success of your business. So let's dive into the three money mistakes that entrepreneurs make that keep them and their businesses broke. The first money mistake that I see online business owners make and that I myself have fallen victim to, victim to several times before is catching shiny object syndrome meaning that you are constantly chasing something new, a new idea, a trend, a goal, rather than staying focused on what you are currently working on. Hit the like button if this, this is you, okay? I understand. This is incredibly easy to do, especially as an online entrepreneur. Some things are just, they're hard to resist, especially when you are bombarded with emails, videos, and ads discussing the newest tools or the newest, latest social media platforms or strategies, and even the newest business models. They can all have a strong pool, and if you aren't careful, these shiny objects can quickly distract you from your current goals. If you find yourself catching shiny object syndrome frequently, understand that new doesn't always mean better. Make sure that you assess what switching to something new will cost in will cost you in your business. The quote unquote cost in the scenario is referring specifically to time because smart entrepreneurs know that time is money. And so you, you need to evaluate if something new coming in is really worth completely switching gears for. For things like new trainings or tools that do seem worth it, they may be just that, that but before jumping into them, make sure you, that you're weighing the pros and cons and ask if it's truly going to help move your business forward. If you're dealing with like exciting new business ideas, create a someday list in something like a notebook or a Google Doc and jot down the idea, maybe a basic outline, and then get back to your task at hand. Now that great idea that you had, it's not going to be lost, but it also won't join the ranks of those half-finished business plans filling up your desk and like, like filling up your computer as well. The second money mistake entrepreneurs make that keep them and their businesses broke is falling for the sunk cost fallacy. If you've ever said to yourself, I'm not using this subscription, but I can't give it up. I'm, I'm still paying that low launch price. And now if I quit and then want to start again, it's going to be so much more expensive. Then you've fallen for the sunk cost fallacy. We all fall victim to this from time to time. S simply put, the sunk cost fallacy is what makes us really justify investing more money or time in something, even though we're not seeing results because we've already spent so much, right? It's what encourages us to repair our car one more time after you know, you just put new tires on it. So you're just going to keep repairing instead of buying a new one or eating a meal you don't enjoy simply because you paid for it. And yes, continuing to pay for tools and resources you're not using, that's falling into the sunk, that, that fallacy, okay? Take a few minutes and examine your current business expenses. What are you paying for month after month that you're not using anymore? Either make a plan to put them to work for you or cancel them all together. Stop falling for the sunk cost fallacy. And the third thing, and maybe the most costly money mistake entrepreneurs make that keep them and their businesses broke is too much 
penny pinching. <laughs> While spending a ton of money on things you don't need in your business can definitely hurt you, spending too little is 100% just as bad for your business. When you're constantly on the lookout for free or low cost tools, or you're working 16 hours a day because you can't afford to outsource, you're not doing your business any favors. Sure, it can look like you're bootstrapping, you're working really hard to just make something from nothing, but what you're really doing is digging yourself a rut that it's going to be nearly impossible to climb out of. Not only that, but you're reinforcing that scarcity mindset that will continue to plague you for years if you let it. So are you juggling a million things in your business right now? Are you overwhelmed because you are trying to figure out how to do everything on your own so that you can save a few bucks here or that you don't have to pay for a coach or a tool or a program that can get you there in half the time? I've done this. I've learned from this. If you are nodding your head, yes, then here's some tough love. You will always feel like you are drowning in your business until you start investing in yourself and your business. I had to learn this the very hard way. Successful entrepreneurs know the difference between cost and investing. If you don't invest in yourself and your business, you will never have a, a successful business and you will constantly be working a ton of hours, which I'm guessing isn't what you wanted when you decided to become an entrepreneur, right? Instead of saying, what is the cost? Ask yourself, what is the return on investment? You have to look at purchases as investments. If you find yourself saying, I will spend money after I make money, I hear that a lot. <laughs> you have to understand that you are starting a business and all businesses require you to spend money to make money. It doesn't work the other way. If you find yourself saying, I just, I can't afford it. You want to start asking yourself how you could afford it. Could you take out a business loan or work out a loan from your family? Could you use your tax refund? Could you sell stuff in your house you no longer need or want? If you want something bad enough, you are going to find a way. Plus, when you invest your money into something, you are going to work so much harder to get a return on your investment. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever heard it, but we say the, your transformation begins with a transaction. You have to have skin in the game and it will work and you're going to work much harder to get that return on your investment than you would if you just got it for free. This builds even more momentum and therefore success. Hit the like button if this makes sense. If you found this video helpful. Keep these three money mistakes in the front of your mind as you work on growing your business. And if you are ready to invest in yourself and your business, make sure to check out the show notes below for more information on my programs, my digital products, and my trainings that will help you work smarter, not harder as you grow your business. I'll see you next time. Bye.